Each student at U of I is now offered up to two free Uber rides per day through the newly designed on-demand transportation program. Students can ride from campus to any point within Moscow city limits, the Moscow Pullman Regional Airport, and the Pullman WSU campus. Rebecca Couch, director of UI Transportation and Parking Services, says the program is ultimately helping students without cars. With our mission to keep campus moving and provide increased alternative transportation options for students so that they can come to college in Moscow without a car, uh, we thought this was a great opportunity to partner on a new program to increase that on-demand transportation in Moscow. The program is in a trial run through the end of January with complete subsidization. Mm. The average yeah. ride costs the university about $12. The university has, however, run into issues with the program. They have successfully delivered around 150 rides, but over 500 have since been requested and not fulfilled. We've got to get more drivers. There's a lot of trips being requested that are not being completed right now simply because there's not a driver available. Couch says Uber and the university are working to create incentives to attract drivers. To participate in the program, students will have to accept an invitation sent through their student email. From there, they'll download the Uber app and at that point can request a free ride. I'm John Webb for News Talk. Each student at U of I is now offered up to two free Uber rides per day through the newly designed on-demand transportation program. Students can ride from campus to any point within Moscow city limits, the Moscow Pullman Regional Airport, and the Pullman WSU campus. Rebecca Couch, direct... So, Rebecca Couch, as in Ashlyn Couch, and another Ashlyn Couch, and a Joshua Couch, who is a SO, registered who's, I got the video, the video was taken down, the one I put up about him. Uh, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, they just took it down. So, Rebecca Couch, I'm not sure, I don't know if they're related or not. I mean, with all those couches over there, don't know. Uh, but, it just makes you wonder, who, how are they, how are they interviewing? I mean, we know how they interview, right? We know how they interview, or they don't interview, put it that way. And they don't film it. No, no, can't. There's no, you know, there's nothing that shows that they did it or did it well or did it poorly or whatever. But how do they interview for these drivers? Do they know anything about these drivers? Or are they just? I mean, if they're hard up to get drivers, do you think they just like sign them on, get those students out there, get them a ride? I think that's a really good question. This particular one, this this was set up in January of 2022. Rosendahl, by the way, was hired in December of 2021. Just a, just, just a timeline, just, just to let you know. This guy has a great smile, by the way. The hair, I would definitely do some work on the hair. I mean, I could definitely fix that hair up. <laughs> but he's a good looking guy. Okay, so there you have it. There's your news talk for the day. Sign up to get a ride with Uber free. Because, yeah, the university will pay for two rides. Yes, indeedy. Cost them 12 bucks a piece. You'd think they get a discount, don't you? You'd think they get a discount because I think it only cost uh, the girls and uh, Ethan six bucks a piece. So how come Uber's getting so much more than the private student driver? Did you know that, that um, Katowicz was, um, he was a fresher at the time. And in the beginning it was said that he was the driver, both to and from, for the girls. So to the bar and then back, you know, from the grub truck to the house. And that he was also the driver for Ethan. And the reason he was driving is because he was pledging and I don't know if you read, if you even guys watched that video about the, um, in a, I think it was Atlanta or Ohio, one of those universities that just got nixed over there. And they had a list of things that, that, um, that they considered hazing. And one of them was that they made the, fre the freshers, the ones that were pledging, stay sober so that they could give them rides. And uh, so that's just reminded me of that. It just kind of clicked and I was like, oh, wow, I forgot about that part. But yeah. So anyway, that's why Jack was allegedly the the um, one that drove them. So that would give 
reason. I mean, that would be pretty much a given that his car would have been around and seen over there, right? Mm-hmm. I bet you, bet you. Now, I don't know if he was driving his sister's car or not, which is the white one. Or, I think his is blue. I'm pretty sure. You know, I'm not positive about that, but I, I don't know why that just sticks in my head. But there was something about... Don't ask me why. I have no idea why that sticks in my head. But it does. Pretty heavily, too. So, okay. <clears throat> this is, um... This is, like I said, this is your news talk for the day. Oh, well, his news talk for the day. <laughs> you all take care and enjoy your hair <laughs> while you have it. <laughs> uh, I wonder if he's bald underneath there. Because that's definitely a wraparound. He's too young to have a wraparound. Okay, ta-ta for now. I'm going to go watch Rolo's video. He said he just posted one, so I'm headed that direction. You guys have a good one. Thanks. Bye. Hope everything's good out there. I miss you guys. I'm going to go in and read some comments, too, but I have to pop up a few videos. So, you guys take care. Thank you so much. And thanks for your support. <sighs> so very much.